Hi guys, it's Amy with A2Z Stamping and today I'm doing a scrapbook layout for you. I do traditional 12 by 12 layouts and I like to show you scrapbook pages. It's not so that you can copy my layout exactly, although if you want to, you're more than welcome to, but it's so that you can sort of see the process I use and maybe get ideas um, of how to use up the materials you have um, in doing a similar type layout. So I had these two photographs. These are actually my husband. And I have no idea how old he is, and he doesn't either, but clearly it's when he was little. He looks preschool age here and maybe like second grade-ish here. Um, and I'm sure I probably stole these from my mother-in-law. But anyway, I have these two pictures, and I wanted to do a layout with these. Okay, so first thing I did was I started with a 12 by 12 piece of crumb cake. And um, crumb cake is one of the neutrals. And if you buy the neutrals best pack, um, crumb cake is one of the three colors that comes in it. Okay, so I started with that. And then I took a piece of 12 by 12 paper from the True Gentleman Designer Series paper. Uh, this is so cute. This is in the 2018 Occasions catalog. And it's definitely a more masculine type paper. The paper's really cute. There's some with pipes on it and some with glasses. But I really liked the colors in this. There's crushed curry and some crumb cake, Night of Navy, chocolate chip. And I just cut four inches off of it. So it was 12 by 12 and I cut it down to, what would that be, 8 by 12. And I'm just going to take some of my snail adhesive and get this on here. Okay, so actually I want it on this side. So I'm going to, I'm going to stand this up. I know you can't really see it very well, but it, that way I can line it all the way up to my edge. Press that down. Okay, so this here is on my right hand side. Okay. So the next thing I wanted to do is I'm actually going to do my layout where this picture is on this side and this picture is on this side. And actually, I think I wanted to do something with ribbon real quick. So I'm going to just peel the top part up just because I wanted to get my ribbon on there before I stick this down all the way. I'm going to be using this corduroy Night of Navy ribbon that's in the Occasions catalog. And it's on the page with the, uh, tr the True Gentleman um, the page with that whole suite. And so I just want a piece that's a little bit longer than this right here. And this is really cool. So this is corduroy ribbon. Can you see it close up? I know it's kind of dark and hard to see, but that's really cool. So it's corduroy, which obviously these pictures are from the 70s. And so it totally reminded me of that. Let's see here. So I want to just stick it across here and I'm going to flip this over. And I just want to stick it down. I'm going to stick, okay, I'm going to do this side first. I know, I don't recommend doing it this way. I should have done it before I stuck my paper down, but that's okay. See, we're making it work. I don't, you know, do a, with my card videos, I design a card first, so I know exactly what I want to do. But with the scrapbook videos, I'm just winging it. So sometimes you got to bear with me. Okay, there we go. So that's going like this, and now I can stick that down. Here we go. Okay, and we'll do more with that in a bit. Okay, set this back aside. All right, so this picture is going to go on this side. This picture is going to go on this side. But obviously, I want to do some matting and things like that. Okay, so the first thing is um, my matting. So I have three different pa papers here. I have crumb cake again. Um, and for all of these, I just used the 8.5 by 11 sheets. So this is crumb cake. So my first picture here is 3 by 4.5. So the crumb cake is a three and a quarter by four and three quarters. Okay, three and a quarter by four and three quarters. And normally my matting is all a quarter inch different, just like this. But the reason I'm telling you this time is because you'll see what I'm gonna do. Next, this one, um, I don't think I wrote on it. So this one is three and a half by seven. Okay. So I'm gonna stick that right up here. And then this crushed curry, so this was real red, and then the crushed curry is three and three quarters by seven and a quarter. So let's get these on here, like so. And then the reason I did these ones longer is because it's, I took a piece of Whisper White cardstock, and this is cut at one and a half by three and a half. So one and a half by three and a half, and it says John William, you can see. I started with just John and then I thought, no, with baby pictures and little pictures, I like to do the full name, John William. A cute little hubby. I didn't know him then, but seriously, adorable. Okay. 
and I'm gonna put that right there. And I purposely did it on Whisper White because I wanted it to be nice and bright and to pop. I used Night of Navy cardstock and I used the Brushwork Alphabet. You guys, I love this so much. Um, this is one of the new, This the stamp set is not new. It's in the 2017, 2018 catalog. So it's been out since June 1st, but it's new to me. I just picked it up and I love it. Look at that. You can make it look like, you can connect the letter so it looks like you're writing in cursive. I, I really do love it. So these are only at 75%. So they're actually bigger. The letters are bigger than what they're appearing on there. And you have all the capitals and the lowercase. So this is a fun one and it's very inexpensive. Um, there are no framelits that go along with it, so it's just for stamping, but I like it. So anyway, that's the John William right there that I did. And I'm going to go ahead and put some adhesive on there. And this guy is going to go right in the center here. John William. So cute, right? And then I'm going to take one of the crushed curry enamel shapes. So remember, um, crushed curry is from the Regals. When you order the enamel shapes, you get them in Regals, Settles, or... Um, brights and you get all 10 of the colors and you'd get stars hearts big dots and little dots see I've cut mine all apart if you've taken my classes you know why I cut them all apart but I'm gonna take one of these little hearts here I like to separate um, my enamel shapes and I write on the back so this one said crushed curry and I like to keep them that way and I'm gonna put the little heart right here okay and then up on this part I'm gonna take a little bit more of the uh, why did I just go blank? The corduroy ribbon here. I'm going to cut myself off a piece. And I want to tie a knot up here. Now, one side's the corduroy, one side's not. So this is a little bit tricky when you're tying the knot because I want to make sure the corduroy, the scoot down so you can see it, the corduroy part is still showing. So you're going to kind of have to manipulate your knot a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Tie it like that. I'm going to move it to my center. And if I put something heavy on this, because this is going in my scrapbook, um, uh, that knot will flatten out and then it won't be quite so bulky in my book. And I'm just going to cut these off so that, there we go, at an angle. Okay, and there is my cute little knot. I'm not going to do a, bo a bow because, I mean, you can do a bow on a boy page, but my husband wouldn't like that on his page. So there we go. Isn't that cute? Okay, so now i got to finish this side of my layout. So I'm going to take more of the corduroy ribbon. I know, I'm using a lot, but I love it. Okay, and I want to cut a piece just a little bit longer than my layout. And whenever I'm going to be going onto the back of my scrapbook page, I like to grab just a couple pieces of scotch tape. I always keep scotch tape handy. And we're going to just tape this down right here because I wouldn't want to glue it. Normally, if I was doing a card, I would just use adhesive, but I don't want to have adhesive on the back of my layout. So we're going to lay that down. Pull this down and this side okay just like so okay and i think what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to just let's see i'm going to take a tiny bit of adhesive and i'm going to stick it on the back of this just so it stays in place see like so okay now for this side like i said i have this little picture and this guy let's see um, i cut it down to two by three this was probably like a preschool picture or maybe even a kindergarten picture, you know, the school pictures. Okay, and so I'm matting that on the real red and the crushed curry. So if this was two by three, this is two and a quarter by three and a quarter, two and a half by three and a half. So let's go ahead and, oh, and of course I ran out of adhesive. Okay, when that happens, just go ahead and pull it off. This part right here, toss it in the garbage, grab a new one out, always keep those handy, just rip it open. Pull the little yellow tab out. All this goes in the garbage. This snaps right into place here and I'm ready to go. All right. Let me stick. Okay, and hopefully, there we go. So these are gonna go right on here. So I'm using the same colors. So you see how I used colors from the paper but also from the photographs okay and this guy is gonna go right here in the center and my ribbon right here isn't totally in the center which will bug me a little but you know what I'm gonna live with it so this guy's going right here okay and then here and here I needed something so I took I'm doing both the same so I've got more real red crushed curry and whisper white because I wanted to pull in the whisper white so this piece right here what is this piece right here 
This one is two and a quarter by two and three quarters. So two and a quarter by two and three quarters, two by two and a half, and one and three quarters by two and a quarter. That should be right. Let's see if I'm right here. Math is hard, right? One and three quarters by two and a quarter. Yep, I was right. Okay, so I'm just gonna glue all of these on real quick. That's why I love snail adhesive, it's so fast, okay. So these guys are going right here. So I'm kind of just reversing the colors. I did crushed curry real red, now I'm doing real red crushed curry. The Whisper White. Like so, like so. Come on. And these are both going right here let's see one's going here and these are a little bit smaller than this one that was on purpose okay so one's going there and one's going here and then I needed something to go on them so I grabbed out the corrugated elements these are actually in the coffee suite the coffee break is that what it's called suite but I thought oh these would be fun and they kind of would match the um this crumb cake vibe I'm going for so I already pulled out two of the ovals and two of the hearts. These are just little, they're kind of like little cardboard elements and they're corrugated. Well, that's why they're called the corrugated elements, but I don't know, somehow these kind of just gave me a 70s vibe, what I wanted, when I wanted a 70s vibe. Okay, and I'm just gonna stick some adhesive on the back of these. Okay, and let's see, I'm gonna just do an oval, an oval, and I'm gonna do a heart, and a heart, and then the last thing I'm going to do is I have some more of those crushed curry element or enamel shapes. I've got the little stars here. And I think, let's see, I'm just going to put a star because why not? We need to remember to use up these. All right. And that is my layout. Isn't that so cute? So everything is totally current and like fresh and what's really in right now, but yeah, I still made it look like it was a layout from the 70s. Well, at least to me. Isn't that adorable? You see that close up? So cute, right? So anyway, I hope you like this. I hope this inspires you to use some of your new items and some of your old items and just sort of, you know, make it all work. I like to keep all of my um, embellishments and things like that by color. That way I can pull it all out when I look at my pictures and I say, well, that looks like crushed curry to me. And that looks like royal red. And that looks like night of Navy. I can pull all of those colors out and see what I have to play with crumb cake, pull that out. And, um, well, that's how the process works for me. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and find me on Facebook, A2Z Stamping. Thanks guys. Bye.